Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and this is part two. I got a Kohler Courage engine, and it was leaking in a couple spots. So uh, I have a video on uh, how to fix the valve cover when that's leaking, and now we're replacing the top part of the crankcase. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, knock out the old seal and put on a new seal. So I'm going to take a look at the old seal, and this was leaking. And I can see right now where it is. It's, it's down about 3 16th of an inch from the rim. So we're going to flip this guy over, and I'm just going to try and take a punch and carefully knock this out. Okay, so I'm leaving the filter on here because what I want to do is put it on the engine and check for leaks and stuff and then get it hot and change the oil. So um, I'm going to carefully take this thing, balance it on the bench here. This is just for a little extra weight so it doesn't fall. And the new seal, I feel like I've been waiting for this thing forever. There's the uh, part number. Unfortunately, <clears throat> I got this thing off eBay and I should have gotten it off Amazon because that's where I got the other parts and I've been wait I waited like a week for the seal so we're just putting a little bit of oil on here and I don't have a socket that's uh, big enough to uh, set the seal in place so uh, I'm just gonna tap it in I just want to take a shop towel and just clean off all around here. Getting any debris. I already went through it once. These are all the bolts from the sump. Problem is they come loose, so I'm just going to clean them off and hit them with a little bit of uh, compressed air. I'm also here's the seal. Take a look at that uh, part number, and I'll link all the parts used in the description. <clears throat> There's locating pins on here, so. I want to make sure you find those pins and get this thing on right. So that's all good. And the cover, I already uh, oiled up the seal real good. And we're going to go ahead and set this guy in place. Just adding a little oil to this thing.
There it goes. Putting a little bit of the blue Loctite on here. So to torque these things down, I'm gonna do, uh, I think it's 220 inch pounds is what it calls for, if I remember. So I'm doing it crisscross in two stages. First one, we're locking it into about uh, 120. So I went through with the torque wrench, got everything all set up. We're looking good there. I marked the bolt heads as I torqued them just to make sure there's so many of them that I got them all. And you got to watch, there's clips on here. There's one here, one here, and one here. Now I marked these before I took them off uh, in my last video. So I knew right where they, they went. And what we're going to do is... Uh, get the stator attached and I snipped this wire so I'm going to seal that up. Alright guys, I went through, I routed this wire. Um, they have it running through the case here by the starter which is kind of a pain but we got that and just stripping the ends and I'm going to use a terminal connector uh, I should say a crimp connector hopefully this is the right size yep alright So that side's crimped, and then we'll get this side. Okay, next up, before I do the flywheel, uh, I'm going to get all these, uh, this thing holds the fuel pump and you can adjust the RPM. And I could see where the screw heads were. So we'll get that started. And these are, looks like Torx. Five o'clock. Well, for what it's worth, my clock's working well. That was a fun build. Next up, we're gonna do the flywheel. I'm figuring we'll do the flywheel, and then we'll mesh the starter in here. Well, it's not actually gonna mesh with the teeth on the flywheel. But we'll put this on and then we'll do our coil. So, uh, you don't want to forget there's a uh, Woodruff key that goes in here. Good. <laughs> ok, 
Okay. Put on our fan. I gotta look at this. Yeah, these two plastic things lock in here. At least I thought they did. in like that and I can't remember what size socket this thing is something metric though I think it's a 15 and I'm gonna run this down with an impact you want to make sure it's tight because if it's not tight you'll end up breaking your flywheel key Okay, we're on to the coil and you can see how it went on before from the posts. I'm going to use the old business card method. So I turn the flywheel so that the magnet's right here and then that will stick to it. And we'll get these screw set and we don't want to forget our wire for a kill switch. We're on to the starter here. And this goes up through this casting just like that and there's two 10 millimeter screws. This has a lot of uh, wiggle room. I'm surprised the uh, teeth uh, mesh. The holes are so big and the, uh, the fasteners on the starter, those are smaller than tens. I did uh, talk to my buddy, he wants new tires, so we're gonna put new tires on this thing. And I figured I'd wait on the tires a little. We'll make sure I can get this thing back together first, and then once I'm sure it's running right, then I'll do the tires. So we'll put this on. It's just uh, two 10 millimeter nuts. All right, guys. Um, it's about two days later here. I'm running around. I got. Uh, sidetracked and Um, the only other thing I wanted to show you guys was the uh, seat repair and as you can see there it's very hard to see it blends it blends right in so I'll take you over for a close-up and I got a day to kill on this thing so we should be able to fill this in I've used this stuff before it works pretty well and here it is, you can see I painted it to match, but it looks good, should uh, hold up well. 
and uh, that stuff's called, I think it's VIP Vinyl Repair. I had it running probably about six, seven minutes, and uh, a little bit of smoke was coming off of it, which is expected. But if we look under here at that plate, there's no oil dripping there out of the uh, valve cover. Um, you know, I blew off the engine and that, and you know, just working on it causes some oil to get on part. So I was trying to heat it up a little bit, but. Things look good, seems to be running well. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil on this thing and uh, get this video wrapped up. I'll put a link to some of the supplies I used and tools for this project. And uh, I, the only other thing I'm gonna do on video on this one is uh, change a tire, so that'll be an upcoming video. Thanks for watching everybody and have a great holiday season. Take care.